Hello all, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to see about interface methods. So an interface not only captures the connectivity, but also captures the communication between two or more modules. So for establishing this connection, we use tasks and functions within an interface. So interface allows the usage of tasks and functions in it. So such tasks and functions, which are referred to as interface methods. So this method helps in the communication between the modules. Thus interface can not only be used to capture the common data, but also the communication protocols between the modules. To call the method in an interface, the syntax is as follows. Interface underscore instance dot method underscore name. Ports in an interface. An interface declaration can have a port list. If a signal need to be shared across one or more interfaces, it could be defined as a port of the interface. An interface port is similar to a module port. So the interface port can be of three directions, input, output, or in -out. So if a signal need to be shared across one or more interfaces, it could be defined as a port. For example, clock should be shared by all the interfaces. So it can be declared as interface port. For example, interface i underscore q bus input bit clock and reset in. These two signals should be passed through all the interfaces. So here clock and reset can be declared as ports of the interface. These are the interface signals. which are used in this example. Mod ports. Before going to mod ports, let's see this example. For USB, HW data, H address and H write are output signals. In the case of USB. In the case of DMA, from USB, these signals are going to DMA. So, in case of USB, these three signals HW data, H address, and H write are output signals. Whereas, in case of DMA, in case of DMA, these are input signals as these are coming here these signals are input for dma and these signals are output for usb so how these signals are differentiated in these two modules while we declare an interface so with the help of mod ports we declare these signals as output or input with respect to the module so a module connected to the interface may use a slightly different view of interface such one thing signal such as one signal being an input or an output or you know we have discussed this in this slide that is hw data can be output for usb but it can be input for dma h address can be output for usb but it can be input for DMA and H write can be input for USB, but it can be output for DMA. So module connected to the interface may use slightly different view of the interface. So such difference is specified in an interface declaration using the mod port declaration. So basically we declare the mod port to differentiate the signals to be output or input. We use mod port declaration for giving the direction to the signal, for giving direction. For example, mod port USB, USB is the instance name of mod port. Output HW data, output H add, H address and input H write. So for USB, HW data is output. Here we are specifying, specifying that HW data is output and H address is output and H 
write is input and again we are declaring for dma mod port dma hw data is input for dma and h address is input for dma and h write is input for dma here we are declaring the module for dma i underscore ahb underscore bus is the interface name dot dma dma is a mod port instance mod port instance name so for using the mod port inside the dma module so mod port is basically present in the interface so we should first declare the interface instance name followed by dot and mod port name followed by instance name ahb underscore port Similarly, in USB, we will declare the i underscore hb underscore bus is the interface name, interface name dot mod port name. So that's all about mod port and interface. Thank you for watching this video.